Non-communicable diseases are the biggest killer of people in the world. These disproportionately affect the poor, and particularly in lower and middle income countries. So a place like Senegal, about 30% of people who need access to diabetes medicines don't have any access. A WHO says we should get to at least or 80% of people have access, if not more. And so you can see that the gap we have to go for is, is huge. We need to make sure that we have affordable medicines and supplies to go with NCD treatment. We need to um, work on data and data analysis and understand what's happening and get smarter. We need to work a lot on supply chain because this is a complex supply chain problem um, globally. We need to be more thoughtful about full-on sort of end-to-end -end development. So what does that end user need? What's the system they're working in? What are the tools they want to use? What's affordable? What's accessible? So we need to sort of plug it in into um, the, the actual continuum of care. We did this this project around um, no empty shelves, it was called, with Novodortis, focused on a number of urban communities or low resource urban wards or slums, and looked at what the access to so diabetes medicines were. And we saw that three or four things. It was there were these separate places people went to get these rather than thinking about them in the context of their normal health care. There was never enough on the shelf. There might be enough insulin, but there wasn't a syringe or the testing strips or all these very expensive pieces. And so it, without it look, being looked at holistically, we are not seeing people being able to actually get to where they need to be. And that's true whether you're talking about a low resource slum, a rural village, or even in a humanitarian crisis where we have people that not only are um, suffering from diabetes and hypertension, but actually are more likely to because of the conditions those, that those um, situations create. We are pleased to have recently launched a coalition. We're bringing together people not only from different types parts of the private sector, but also different social sector uh, players, academia, NGOs, multilaterals, foundations, and as well a number of governments at different levels. We know we have to keep working on prevention, but there are many people that have these diseases and are not getting treated today. And so how do we work on technical assistance? So what is the sort of needs we can identify? How do we uh, improve the supplies? How do we improve the tools? What do we need to do on advocacy? How do we make sure that people see this issue and understand it and we can break down it into its parts? And then of course there's always resource mobilization, which which is how do we ensure that we are raising the, the funding and thinking about innovative ways to support this uh, effort globally. And so we're uh, one of many partners that are really trying to get the world to see how kind of outrageous it is that kids and young people and young adults are dying of things that we all get treated for without thinking about.